guys welcome back to the channel we are here today with another video probably our raunchiest sauciest video to date i'm yeah. so excited it's um, very highly requested it is very highly requested it is for strippers baby strippers um and just normal non-strippers who want to spice up their <laughs> their special <laughs> time so so we have as you can see by the title of this video a boy and girl stripper lap dance tutorial so we're just going to show you what it looks like and we're going to walk you through the steps and some tips and just what we do and what works for us so without further ado let's get into it Alrighty, so to start off your dance, you're going to want to walk your patron through the rules. They are different at every club, so just make sure you know what is and isn't allowed, um, where they can and can't touch, um, etc. So the first thing I do is just really slowly lean onto them while still standing. And then slowly put a leg over and then another leg. And then you just want to start off in your basic straddle. Again, making sure you have that really arched back. You want to make your booty pop as much as possible. And now give the illusion that you're sort of grinding and twerking while maintaining that distance between crutches. That's really important. Leaning back, you can support yourself on their knees. Just sort of caressing yourself nice and slow. Here is when I'll take the, the top off, the bikini or the bra that I'm wearing. You don't want to do it straight away again because time is money you want to be really sort of take your time <clears throat> and again I'm just such a hair flipper like just just sensualize it with flipping your hair everywhere in their face in and around their face god my ass looks huge so yeah I'll often sort of lean to the side do a little bouncy twerk situation massive crowd pleaser and because you're also sort of behind them you don't have to maintain eye contact um, but sort of gauge the customer if they just want to sort of chat to you just sort of straddle and chat with them um, this is the classic cow cow bend where you just sort of lean over their lap with the as much as you can possibly arch your back now it's time for the pennies to come down so a bit of a booty shake for good measure again just really slowly if you think you're going slow go slower again play with your hair stick your butt out just sort of do a little bouncy bounce twerk twerk time and then I'll sort of sit in the gap between their legs on the chair and sort of put my weight back on them touch their head touch their neck lean forward a lot of guys like to look at your back which is just funny but you know and then leaning back to the other side again cradling the back of their head touching their thigh and then from here, you want to slowly get up, again, leading with the hips and the butt. Just shaking your ass for good measure again. There can never be too much ass shaking. Now again, we're going for a side straddle here. And then we're putting our other leg over, so foot's on the ground. And then we're just sort of moving our hips sort of like right up near their face. I'm doing a bit of a twerk there. And this is sort of between a straddle and a cow, so it's sort of diagonal. It's just another position to do. And some clubs will allow you to stand on the couches, some will not, just like some will allow you to take your shoes off. Um, my advice would be if you're allowed to and your booking is more than 20 or 30 minutes long, take your shoes off. Um, and if you can stand on the couches, definitely do so. Um, this is a really awesome view because of course you are naked um, so just standing up there getting that really eye level so I'm sort of just trying to demonstrate that here but usually it's a lot higher sort of where Leo's arms are is where we would aim to be um, if you can do that and give them a show spread your legs and now we're just sort of wanting to drape ourselves over them put a leg up near their shoulder over their lap just sort of like stroking yourself being casual but very very slow just sort of want to play with your legs always pointing your toes please for the love of God so now I'm going to show you some extras that you can offer if you know that they have tipping money you know they're really enjoying it or they're just really generous guys so whenever we're booked for more than about 10 minutes or so we know the guys are sort of eager to spend have money that sort of thing we'll be coming to the end of the standard lap dance that I just showed you and we'll say oh hey babe do you have any cash? Sweet. 
and then you go, oh, that'll do. So what we're gonna do is we're wanting to reverse straddle, so almost like reverse cowgirl, but sitting up. Oh, ew. Five. A five. So you're gonna wanna hop like this, and then just sort of stay here for a moment. No touching, no demonetize. And then you can just sort of twerk, shake your bum, and then we wanna slowly climb down to the floor, wriggle your butt back a bit, and then just sort of twerk here. So after you've done some significant twerking, I would say like no more than a minute and a half because you'll work up a sweat. To get out of this position, you can either come up using the knees and sort of come to the side and do a bit of like open leg work. Otherwise you stay down here and like very centrally, of course, very slowly, sort of just climb up, just demount. Again, really arch back, arse in the air. Just do a little bit of a twerk twerk. Using your hair always and having that arch, I cannot emphasize it enough. And again, there is no such thing as too slow. So we're now gonna come into some floor work. I'm just gonna show you guys some basic positions. So the side one is actually such a classic. So you just wanna sort of lie here, stroke yourself. You can come up here, legs up in the air. Always point your toes for the love of God. So like these ones, just stroking each leg. And then windmills are a classic all the way or even just half away. And then you wanna sort of Make it very cute, shake your legs, do some spins, open. And then coming up again, using your hair, always having that arch in your back. Just sort of always trying to look like as, as much of a cat as you possibly can. <laughs> you can crawl up to them, you can touch their legs, you can sort of come up here, again touching their shoulders and their head. You can climb up from here. And then you can just finish the dance or ask for more money. As a male stripper, I'm gonna show you how to return the favor to your woman. Oh, well, I've um, started off quite fast <laughs> So basically, as a male stripper, it's about interacting. Rosie said it really well. As a female stripper, you don't really wanna get touched. As a male stripper, you're encouraging them to touch you as much as possible, as you can see. Um, and sadly, as a guy, you don't have as many attributes as a female, I guess, to show off which sort of limits you, but as a male performer, you're, in the name, you're more of a performer. It's performing. As you can see, I'm taking my shirt off. You want to make a show out of everything, like, you know, as Rosie said, take your time, go slowly, use everything to your advantage, and it is like a show, so if you've got a hat, use it. If you've got a belt, use it. Um, your t-shirt, use it. Make a show out of taking it off, swinging it around. And it is a lot of straddling, grinding, a lot more physical uh, male dance. But see, that's it's more warranted, I guess. Whereas um, a female stripper, it's a different sort of show, I guess. Rosie seems to be enjoying herself. And don't forget, some women do like the pump ass. They do. Like a bit of booty. And here we're going into a bit of male floor work, which you'd never really have them. This is just a bit of foreplay, really. This is the stage. This is a performance. This is a stage performance. As if you've got a bride on stage and it's, you know, you're gonna try out a few your little moves. You gotta have a few tricks on stage. But a lot of it is choreographed when you're on stage anyway. Um, and it's normally never a single one. We're a bit out of frame, but you get the idea. Oh, that is one of the big things, is you have to realise that your limitations, I guess, to an extent. And so, I mean, if it is an older lady, you know, they might not be able to be picked up. And if they're, you know, they might be a bit too heavy for you. Just realise your limitations and go from there. So, if you come into the club, you book us two, chances are it will be us two and you and your friends or just you. 
and this is what it looks like when we do a double dance. All right, it is time for the double, double dance. Trouble. So yeah, we're doing the same thing. We're explaining rules. I feel like there's a lot more rules than male strippers. Correct. So we gotta go through all them. I've never ever high five <laughs> by the way. Only because it's Leo. So we start off just um, doing a half straddle each, and that's where we spend like 90% of the time yep. when we are doing a double dance. It's just on each side. Yeah, we just put one foot each between their legs, legs. as you can see, and then one just up on the seat, which is good. And again, just sort of like slowly just moving your body, touching up the side of your body. We usually are always talking to them, chatting, because it's more of like a... like It's more fun. Like it's more it's, of like it's a conversation more, yeah. dynamic, yeah. again. Me with the booty shaking. Yeah, so basically with this, we both have our tops off now and we switch over. So one person will stand up and take their bottoms off. So for example, Rosie's doing that now. She will take her bottoms off while I'll still straddle and I have my bottoms on. Um, and then we basically just like switch over. So we just do one at a time. So he gets to watch both as opposed to having to look um, at both at, at the same time. At the same time. You don't want to overwhelm them. Yeah, so you just do one at a time and then yeah, we can like smack each other's butts and you know, just like play around with each other because that's what the guys like. They want girls to be touching each other, so we oblige. <laughs> the price is right. Yeah. <laughs> that is one happy boy. <laughs> and usually, like the guy will just be like, "Oh my yeah. god!" Oh, you know what we did? Like we're do? not really doing anything. We like didn't motorboat. That's like our key thing. Yeah, our key thing is like, like to motorboat Titty people. sandwich. Yeah. Okay, just shake your butt because usually he'll reach around. Yeah, and grab your butts which is fine for most clubs. Some clubs you can't touch below the waist. Um, so Rose is gonna go into some, so what we like to do is alternate a lot. Mm -hmm. So one person will be on the floor or off it's the body. It's touch one, see one. Yeah, yeah. So we like to say, here you can watch and you can touch at the same time. So like, for example, now Leo will be watching Rosie and touching me and then we switch and over. And then we switch over. Yeah. And the classic like cat stretch is super easy. Go across. It's a good view for them. They like touching your back, like the arches. Mm -hmm. They can touch your butt. They can touch your arms. I'll, I get head massages a lot in this position. And back. So that's kind of fun. As well. Yeah, it's a good, good, easy position. And when you got pleasers on, it looks really good mm -hmm. with, the, with the heel. And then we'll switch over. Do a little bit of a show first. We have little puffs um, at our like class, so you, like can, you can sit on them. I just got down like you would, like you don't have anything, so that's kind of a way to get down. And now we're doing the opposite, so watching me and touching Rosie. Feet for free. No feet for free. Feet for free. <laughs> Always pointed toes, please. Yeah. If you take away two things from this whole tutorial, slow, point your toes. Yeah, it's not good. I didn't realize how funny this position looks on camera. <laughs> uncomfortable but this is a very comfortable position to be in it's good for the patron you're just lying good, back and it's good for the dancer because they just like are like oh my god like you just get touched and you just lie there like you don't have to do anything like we're being a little bit more like sensual which is good um but it's a really good easy position to be in <laughs> So that is pretty much it guys. I hope you picked up some good tips from us. That's pretty much how we do our lap dances. Like, of course this is not how everyone does them. Not a it's, definitive guide. It's <laughs> not a definitive guide on how to give a lap dance. This is just what works for us. It's our kind of like routine. We're so like, it's so ingrained in our heads now. Like this is just how we give a lap dance. Just gauge it. If they're tipping you really well, just put in like, do the splits. Like yeah. do all the extras that you can do. Make it um, worth how much they've paid, period. All right, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed it, picked up some tips. Uh, let us know if it's spicing up your life because we're probably gonna get demonetized for this video. So we're just not gonna make any money, but drop, I hope you enjoyed drop, it. Drop those raunchy comments because you <laughs> probably can't demonetize us any more than we already have been. <laughs> that's pretty much it and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. Bye.